could you explain your philosophy on short versus long-term investing? This this is coming up because of how I think Emma's playing the game. Uh, is there is there a time when I should bail, even if I'm interested in focusing on long-term growth? Okay, so if, uh, what strikes me about um, this question is you're actually asking my advice. Like, I have any fucking idea what I'm doing here. Um, well, yeah, okay. I mean, you're asking for my philosophy uh, as if it should be yours. So the first thing I want to do is, um, I, I, is actually ask maybe the better question, which is, mm -hmm. um, which is really a question for you. How long do you not need the money for? Because if you were investing real money, <laughs> right? Like it's your that's, money. It's, it's your money. Like, that's do you want money. it um, or not? Well, that's a fair question. And then uh, this, but there's a second part to that, which is yeah. when do you start to think something sucks? Because when do I panic? When do you when well, do you, you sell? When do you panic? Well, you now you know me now as your client. I mean, my definition of sucking is not whether it's I'm making or losing money in the short term. I like my complete philosophy of investing in the stock market is to invest in companies that that. Well, although some of the ones I've picked, I don't know. I'm, I might be a hypocrite here, but I might get rid of those companies. I, I want to invest in companies that I want to see do well over the long term. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how else to play this game because I don't I don't want to invest in the stock market to begin with. But that would be my goal is like is to invest in things in America that that I want to exist long term, like like Beyond Meat, for instance. And so, Apple. And Apple. <laughs> and Look, Microsoft. I, I use, I use an iPhone, so I don't know what to say about Apple. So, well, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the hypocrisy later. Um, yeah, I, I like the hypocrisy. I want you to make fun of me even more, Matt and Emma. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, okay. Ooh, we, we, we you're just going to give us permission like that? Well, Damn. I think it exposes... Like I, I permission. It, well, I just think it, it maybe this is it helps expose you know the craziness of the stock market is to talk about our hypocrisies. Well, first of all, one of the things that you you've done is divorce price entirely from your conversation. Like, at yeah, what I don't understand. I don't understand price. So, so you you, you bought Beyond Meat. Um, when we paid for Beyond Meat, we paid one hundred thirty eight dollars and sixty six cents mm -hmm. a share. It was trading at one thirty eight sixty six. It's currently trading at one sixteen eighty three. We've lost fifteen, almost sixteen percent in Beyond Meat. Now, right, so that, perhaps at, when I bought it, it, it was way too high to begin with. Mm. Now you're having a price conversation. But so how would one? Whoa! How would one know that? How would I know that when I look at a tech stock like you know Adobe, which I don't care about, and that's at four hundred and eighty dollars? I just do don't understand. Care about it. You proposed Adobe because of its diversity. <laughs> um, okay, but disclosure. But what I'm okay, but we're talking about price. We're talking about price, like Spotify. Why the hell is that worth so much? Well, you're there. There's lots of reasons it could be worth that much. It could be worth that much because um, we it, it makes Tech. a lot of money. It could be worth that much because Tech they hype. announced a new product that um, yeah, is anticipated narrative. to make a lot of money. No, it could be worth narrative. that much because investors are stupid and irrational and think it's worth that much, and there's no fundamentals underpinning it. I and think we it could about not this. be worth that much. I think we talked about this way back when we started our show. I, I think the, the investable world now is like kind of loosely correlated on what apps they have on their phone. So that is that brings me actually to sort of the, the core of the question, um, which is the philosophy that you bring to investing. It's not short versus long term. It's what really? you want your investment to do. Okay. Short and All long right. is is a part of that equation, right? Like you want to invest in your long-term vision for America because yeah. you're a Bernie bro who believes that we should all <laughs> hug each other and oh, look, I, I wouldn't drink go that far. wine I'm a and Bernie sit in our bro. basement okay. and wear Vans shoes and grow our beards long. That That's fine. Pumas, but fine. Yeah, look, don't call me a Bernie bro. I don't like that. That's a step you too far. You live in Maine. I, but Bernie bro has a negative connotation. And I'm not a part of that scene. I like that sitting. You just said that I went to a Trump rally and broke into the Capitol <laughs> building. Uh, so that's not a rally. That's an insurrection. All right. Yeah. Keep going. My point, my point is that you can gamble and that could be your philosophy on stocks. Or you can say, you know, like I am the future of America fund. And that's how you, you, 
All right. you invest in Do stocks. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Give me the 30 second blowhard version of, of this, the answer to this question. What Investing, would a blowhard say to that? Okay. A, a, a true blowhard Short would tell you, long. a true blowhard would tell you that they can predict the, the short term using, you know, some mechanism. Okay. They'd make okay. up the mechanism, technicals, tell me what to do. fundamentals, value investing, you know, uh, arbitrage opportunities, whatever the fucking made up make believe thing is today. In, okay. The truth is, investing sucks your ass in the short term. You suck at it. Well, everybody right. sucks at I, it. So I'm going to change my philosophy. I this is how I'm going to kind of like fight with Emma here. Is that so Emma Emma's keyed in, I think, which is understandable and fine. Emma, I don't really care. You, you're keyed in on on short term growth. You're keyed in on like tweaking and making more money. I'm going to try this. I'm going to attempt, and, and that might might mean getting rid of some things that I've erroneously purchased. But I'm going to attempt to just invest in companies that I want to see do well over the long term. And we'll see how this evens out over time. So okay. Emma is our TikTok investor and Damien is the MySpace <laughs> investor. <laughs>